Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm so excited to film the very first video of September. Fall, it has arrived and I am so excited. I hope you guys are as well. So today I'm sharing with you my everyday makeup bag. This is my fall capsule collection very curated all of my favorite favorite products to wear in the fall season everything from foundation to blush eyeshadow different lip combos as well so if you want to see how i did this look right here i am going to of course put everything on my face and show you guys all of my everyday fall makeup picks i'm so excited to share this with you so let's just get right into this video grab a drink grab a snack a coffee some pumpkin spice latte and let's get right into this look all right so let's get started i'm just going to dive into my little bag here full of goodies all the fall goodies i'm so excited all right so let's start with foundation i already have all my skincare on my face so i was testing out a couple different like tinted moisturizers foundations and i kind of settled on this one just because i really want to revisit this foundation and i wore it the other day and it was actually really pretty so this is the flower beauty get real serum foundation i like this because it's moisturizing and it gives this skin a glow and definitely when I'm moving into the more cooler months my skin gets more and more dry than in the summer months so we're in September we're going to embrace the fallness and I want to still have a little bit of glow to my skin and hydration so I'm just going to give this a really good shake I'm using my little strawberry fields sponge here but it's a very thin consistency so if you are using a sponge you might have to layer this up I just can't use a brush when I'm applying foundation. I have to use a sponge because I have such such super sensitive dry skin. And I love, can you see the, like the, the glow and doing this? It does tone down a little bit after you put stuff over top, but it's just such a pretty foundation. So for concealer, I picked the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. I have the shade Fair 20N. I forgot to mention the shade here with the, uh, this is Shell L1 with the foundation. So what I like about this concealer is that it has pretty good coverage. It's hydrating, but it's not cakey underneath the eyes. And I mostly apply concealer underneath the eyes more than anything. I might apply a little bit to my nose because I have a spot there. And I've been kind of playing with this more recently. I, I do like my e.l.f. hydrating camo. But I thought, you know what, I want to give this a try and I actually really like it, so... And of course, my favorite eyeshadow primer is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Mine's almost gone. Gets the job done. One little pea-sized amount, rub it between your fingers, and then tap onto the eyelid. All right, and for setting powder, I chose the ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting powder. I have the shade Fair One. I really like this powder. Uh, it has, you know, not a ton of coverage, but it's just a basic setting powder. I'm testing out these little powder puffs I got from Amazon. I'll link them below. I'll link everything down below you guys. But I'm testing this out today to see if it actually makes a difference. So I'm just going to set my under eye. I might set my nose a little bit just in, in any areas that I want to. So moving on to one of my favorite products ever is bronzer and I went with this one because I really like the color. It's not too warm but it still gives me a little bit of warmth and it just feels very fall appropriate. It's the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have the shade Motivate. How cute is this packaging? I sort of just put this away and forgot about it. I purchased this during the Sephora spring sale a while back but it's such a pretty color. So I'm gonna use my Awe Studio F28 brush. This is my favorite bronzer brush, by the way. And if you do apply a little too much, don't worry. It, this blends out so well and so beautiful onto the skin. It looks nice and natural and it doesn't look crazy. I love bronzer all year round. I don't think I could be without it, but I definitely like to kind of switch up my bronzer for the fall season and pick something that isn't too warm but can still look nice you know so for blush this was very difficult because you guys know i am a blush lover i love blush it's one of my favorite makeup products to apply so it was really hard to just pick one and this one 
one over the others because I liked how soft it was, but you could also intensify it. And because I feel like the color is so perfect for fall, it's going to look good with any of the fall makeup looks I do this season. And I picked the AOE Studio Color Flush Liquid Blush in the shade Walnut. I have already posted a full in-depth review, swatches, cheeks, swatches, everything, you guys. It's already up on my channel, but these are so cute. They're $1. It looks like a mini liquid to matte lipstick, but it's not. It's actually a liquid blush. I love this color. I would describe it as kind of a terracotta brick orangey. There's a little bit of brown in there. It's just such a perfect fall blush in my opinion. So two little dots on my cheeks and that's usually enough and I like to use the BH Cosmetics number one brush. This is from the festival set and I'm just going to tap. I'm just going to tap and blend it in and I know it looks scary at first but don't worry. It blends out so pretty and because it's a liquid and it kind of like sets and dries down, you can put it over powder products, you can put it over creams. I feel like it blends out and it just works. I don't know. It's just such a pretty color. So for highlighter, again, this was a very difficult category because I wanted something that, again, very versatile. I can use with many different makeup looks and it's not too, not too gold, but it's not too light, but it's not, you know what I mean? Like just the perfect balance. So, of course, I had to go with Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in number 10, Be My Highlight. That's the swatch there. It's really pretty and it's warm, but it's not, you know, like too, too much. AOA Studio F19 Highlighter Brush. It's going to highlight my cheekbones here. And I like to really buff and blend my powder highlight into the skin. For setting spray, I have to go with my tried and true Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. It's their Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This has been a favorite for a very long time. I can't tell you guys how many bottles I've gone through. So this is more of a adding a boost of hydration to your skin, setting all the powder products on your face, just really adding a little bit of extra moisture. It's not a setting spray that's going to, it's not like the Urban Decay All Nighter where it it really holds and freezes your makeup but I just love this one it's great if you have dry skin oh my god it smells like coconuts and of course we have to fan we have to be extra for fall you know <laughs> so moving on to the brows I swear to you this is not sponsored by ColourPop um so I'm going to be using the ColourPop brow pencil in ash brown you guys know this is my favorite brow pencil. She is just the winner over and over again. I love the color, love the formula, super long wearing. It just matches my natural brow hairs perfectly. And then I also have been reaching for the Tinted Feather Effect Styling Wax. And I normally don't like eyebrow waxes. They're just too heavy in my brows. I don't like the feeling, but this is very, very lightweight. It's such a, in my opinion, it's a very unique formula. And with a light coat, it does hold my brows in place and it kind of does give them that kind of feathered, soft look. So I really love this product. So moving on to the eyes, I picked a very small collection of things that I knew would be a lot of fun to play around with and definitely was very hard to pick an eyeshadow palette because I have so many fall palettes that I absolutely, absolutely love. So the first thing I wanted to mention is I picked these two no budge matte eyeshadow sticks from e.l.f. I have Vintage Suede, which is this really pretty like mustard yellow, and then Groovy, which is a really pretty like orange kind of orangey nude as well. Vintage Suede here and then Groovy is the orange one. Uh, I think the one I want to go with today is Groovy and what I've been doing is using this as a base, as an eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and go start right close to my lash line and just apply a light thin layer and we're just going to start blending that. Now these don't dry down too quickly so I feel like you do have enough time to manipulate and blend. So for the lower lash line, I thought I would switch it up and use Vintage Suede. I think this is a really pretty buttery yellow, mustard yellow. 
I'm going to use this AOA Studio High Def brush. This is the E110. We're going to amp it up. I have to add some eyeshadow. And the palette I picked is probably no surprise to some of you that have been around for a while, but the Melt Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow Palette. This, hands down, I don't care what anyone says, this is the fall palette. Like, it's just beautiful. The packaging on the outside, I, I did do a full review when this launched. It's a little bit up there in price for sure, but this palette was worth every penny. I use this constantly, even all year round, but for fall, it, it's just, it's everything I want. The color rust is that perfect kind of reddish brown burnt deliciousness that I want. Some deep browns here, couple of shimmers, not like a ton of shimmers in here, but this palette is just so stunning and I just love it so much. I uh, Again, you could 100% curate this, you guys, to whatever you like. You can pick whatever palette you want. I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm just showing you guys what I personally enjoy using. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. fluffy eye blending brush. I think a little bit of rubbish first. And I'm going to apply this all throughout my crease. Just do a nice light dusting of this as my transition color. And now I'm going to go in with rust which is one of my favorite shades in here i mean it's just the epitome of fall it's so so pretty so i'm going to take this and start packing this kind of on my outer v here and kind of onto my lid and i'm just really deepening up that outer v really blending and smoking this out and then taking a little bit of that bright yellow called erode i'm just going to add that to the perimeter of the look just at the very top pretty close to my brow area so for the lower lash line I definitely think rubbish is gonna match that cream eyeshadow that we already laid down so I'm just gonna dip my little pencil brush this is the old J Kissa one and I'm gonna dip right into rubbish and apply that right over top of that vintage suede we're going full on grunge today, so I know this isn't an everyday look, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with all these products. And I mean, I could do like a million different looks with this palette and with the cream shadows, and it could be slightly different variation every time. That's what I love. This is just a typical brown liner. This one's from Essence. It's in but first espresso <laughs> so just a basic brown liner i figured brown is your safest bet you could do black as well but i think brown is just a nice softer version so i think i'm going to take this along my lash line because i really don't do liquid liner much anymore so for my water line i was thinking i might just take my nude liner this one's from uh the balm cosmetics Sometimes doing a really dark liner in your waterline and along the lash line can be a little too harsh. All right, and then with the brown liner, all we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it and then smudge it out. I have the E115 brush here, which is one of my favorites to smudge out liner. So I'm just gonna do a line right close to my lashes. Just taking a brush and moving it back and forth over that liner. You wanna work quickly because, you know, pencil liners tend to set pretty quick. I almost forgot to highlight my inner corner. I'm going to take Classic, this kind of really bright yellow. It's more of a matte, but I think, oh yeah, it's matte, but look at that pigmentation. I mean, I just barely dipped my brush in there. Woo! So pigmented. Like, these eyeshadows are just so good. So for mascara, I've been testing out a lot of new ones lately, but I thought I would revisit the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. This is a good classic, just all around good mascara from the drugstore if you have not tried this one yet i have been really enjoying this one so the lip area was very difficult so i thought you know what let's just stick with one bronzer one blush one highlighter but in the lip category, because I love lip products so, so much, I went ahead and picked three lipsticks and three lip liners to correspond. I could kind of mix and match. So these are my picks. So the first one, this Milani lipstick and I Am Pretty. It's a really nice 
nude. Just very simple, everyday lip color. The lip liner that I picked to go with it is the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in the shade Legendary. This is one of my favorite soft brown nude lip liners. If you have very pale lips, pale skin, uh, this one is really, really good. Um, so that lip liner goes with that lipstick. So that's the first lip combo. Moving on to the next lip combo, I have the Flower Beauty uh, Matte Lipstick in Autumn Rose. So this one definitely has more of a pink, berry theme happening uh, but this i think is just such a pretty classic fall color if you like those berries those purples you're really going to like this one this lip liner from glam goth beauty it's an indie brand and this is in the shade rotten so that's my second lip combo there so if i'm in the mood for like a berry wine type of lip there you go this is melt cosmetics matte lipstick in mum the leaves are changing. It's just pumpkin spice deliciousness. Oh my goodness. And then to go with that, I picked the Flower Petal Pout Lip Liner in the shade Toffee. This is the closest I could get. It's a really warm undertone brown that I think will go really nicely with that lip color. So those are my three lip combos. Can you guess which one I'm going with today? I'm going to go with the mum. <laughs> The mom and the flower one, so I'm going to take the flower lip liner first. So that's it you guys, that completes this look using all the products in my everyday makeup bag for fall, my little autumn capsule collection. I love how this look turned out. I like that I kind of did a matte eye look today. No shimmer at all. Grungy. I mean, you know I love all the things <laughs> for fall. And this lip color mm, is just my favorite lip color of all time. I mean, it's just the perfect combination of warmth, earthiness. It just reminds me of fall and pumpkins and uh, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> As always, you can find all the products that I used today linked down below in the description box. So make sure to go check that out if you want to shop any of these items. Feel free to do so. I hope this inspires you to create your own curated and personal capsule collection, seasonal collection. Give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy. It helps me out so, so much. Comment, like, share, and of course, subscribe if you are new. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays every week. You can also find me on TikTok, Instagram. All my links are always down below. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for all of the fall videos, makeup tutorials. I am just so here for it. Yay! <laughs> Fall. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to the month and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!